Hello. So yesterday, uh, I spent some time in the shop and I was able to get a good amount of work done on the um, six of the Subcontra Bassoon's 14 body joints. And these are going to be the, the smaller body joints. Uh, in terms of bassoon, these six joints would represent uh, essentially the bottom two-thirds of the wing joint and the descending portion of the boot joint. Uh, so they will have uh, tone holes uh, for open F all the way down to low A flat, uh, as well as the, uh, the highest of these, or the, the smallest of these uh, body joints will also have the, uh, the half hole vent that will be used to, uh, to play middle F sharp and middle G. So the goal for the day was to take the first steps towards creating the, uh, the finished conical bore. Um, I want to do that first so that I can turn uh, the outside uh, relative to that bore. So I'm going to be taking a raw cylindrical stock that looks like this and putting a pilot bore through it so it will look something like this. Now if you look closely you'll see that I've also turned down the outsides on both ends as well as facing off the ends themselves. These are not final dimensions yet. Like I said I want to uh, do all my final dimensioning off of the uh, or relative to the conical bore. Uh, this is just to give myself a true surface uh, that will make uh, uh, chucking more reliable and it will also make the, uh, the steady rest run better. Here I've set the lathe to a very slow speed and I'm using a dial indicator both to uh, check for run out and to uh, center up the steady rest on the, uh, the far side. At this point the outer surface hasn't been trued up yet so I'm not going to get perfect but it'll make things easier in the long run if I get pretty close. Here's a close-up of the steady rest in operation. If you follow my Facebook page, you may have noticed that I've replaced the brass pads with uh, rollers. I'm going to start the drilling process by using a center drill bit. This is a drill bit that's short and stout enough not to wander and is really good for starting holes.
Next, I'm going to switch to an extra long 5 8 bit. This is just large enough so that I can use my uh, smallest boring bar for the next steps. With this bit, I'm only drilling about half an inch at a time. Uh, this way I can clear out the chips so I don't get smoking. At this point, the, uh, the pilot bore extends through half the length of the joint. So I'll be flipping the joint around and doing the exact same thing from the other side. The two drillings will meet in the middle, producing one long pilot bore from one end of the joint to the other. six joints with the pilot bore completed. Next I'll be turning and facing both ends of each joint.
And here's the finished shot of all six joints, ready for the next step. You may notice that these joints are different lengths. When finished, all six joints will be 566 millimeters long. But I've decided to leave five of the six joints long at this point. This way, if the conical bore doesn't end up being positioned absolutely perfectly, I can fix it. Thank you for watching this video. If you'd like more information on the project, please visit uh, my website, subcontrapassoon.com. And if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it, please uh, help me out and leave a like. Thanks.